Dear friends and comrades, on behalf of the Party of European Socialists, I would, I would like to welcome you at the PS Congress Council in Sofia. Uh, let me welcome all the people, but especially the one who is sitting among of others, and is a very special person. He is 103 years old, and is the oldest PS activist we have, and he is for 73 years the member of the BSP, Mr. Asen Kostov. Thank you very much for that. We are very happy that so many of you could come and uh, could, could make it to come to Sofia despite the two very important issues and it's a midsummer celebration in the north of Europe and very hot and very nice summer which is starting in the rest of Europe. Uh, we will be listening to the speeches of very important people for our family. We will be listening to the speech of our president, Mr. Sergei Stanishev. We will be listening to the speech uh, of the president of the European Parliament, Mr. Martin Schulz, and several others. And we will have a very interesting and uh, interactive interview with Bulgarian Prime Minister, Mr. Oresharsky. Uh, also, we will have two discussion panels, uh, one on democracy and one on the youth unemployment. And also, we will adopt two very important papers, one on the uh, youth unemployment and special resolution on, on the industrial policy. But the highlight of today's council will be the adoption of the first PES fundamental program, which we discussed uh, for several months already and we will adopt today's afternoon. But before I give the floor to Achim Post to start officially the Congress, I will invite my colleague Anne Linde for the uh, special statutory issues which should be uh, adopted before the start of the Congress. And the floor is yours. Thank you. So, good morning, everyone. I think it's wonderful to wake up to bagpipes. I will ask them to come and wake me up every morning. But now we will start uh, the formalities of the councils. So could you please see that you have all your voting cards ready because we have to do some formal votes. Uh, and we will start with the confirmation of the voting rights. There are 235 potential votes, but that has to be reduced due to uh, some things that I will tell you. Some a delegation are absent is the PS Belgium who has four votes, is the SDE Estonia for two votes, is the MSCDP Hungary for one vote, UP Poland for two votes, SDLP Northern Ireland for two votes, uh, and then we have the Vice President Elena Valenciano and Jan Royal who is not here and they have one vote each. So that will reduce the potential votes. Then we have, according to our statutes, we have a gender balance criteria because PES is extremely committed to fostering women participation in our parties and in the political life. And I would like to say that most of the delegation are gender balanced and we should congratulate ourselves for that. And everybody has made the effort, but not all have managed this time. So, in line with Article 29.3 of the PES Statutes, uh, the PES um, Presidency recommends to reduce the vote of two delegation with one, one vote, given that they are not gender balanced. Then we have another criteria, and that is the membership fee criteria. And we know that some parties has very big problem with their economy right now. And everybody is trying to, to really make an effort to pay their membership fee. But not everybody has succeeded. So in line with Article 43.4 of the PES statutes, the PES presidency recommends that we suspend one party from voting rights because they have not paid their membership criteria. And this leaves us with 219 valid votes. So I would like the council to uh, vote on this. Just raise your cards if you are in favor of accepting 219. Thank you. If you're against. Any abstentions? Okay. 
So then I announced the result that the council had decided that 219 votes are declared valid. Click. And that means that we will have a qualitative majority if we need to vote of 111 votes, because that should be 50% plus one. So if we're going to vote later, the qualified majority is 111. Then we go to the next issue, and that's the election of the council tellers. And we have here also a proposal from the presidency, and that is Katerina Bosjanovra from CSSD in the Czech Republic, and Kirsten Mayer from PVDA of the Netherlands. So if you take a card again, how many are in favor? Thank you. Anybody against? Or any abstentions? Thank you. So the council has elected Kirsten Meyer and Katerina Bosjanova to be the council tellers. Congratulations. <laughs> then we should just adopt the council agenda, and you have it in your file. You can check it. I'm not going to read it out. Uh, is there any comments on this, or can I call the vote immediately? No comments. So is the council in favor of adopting the council agenda? Raise your hands. Yes, anybody against? An abstention? So the council has adopted the council agenda. And then finally, we have to adopt the rules of procedures. And you have, to, you have those in your file too. We don't go uh, through them. So the final vote in the procedural matters. Are you in favor of the rules of procedure? Raise your hands. Thank you. Anybody against? Any abstentions? And by that, the council has adopted the rules of procedure. Thank you very much. And by that, all our points of the procedure for the council is ready. And I would just like then to give the floor to our leader in the group of the SD, Mr. Hannes Voboda. The floor is yours.